Thank you for joining me at story time today. I have three books picked out that all have something in common. They rhyme. Do you guys know what it means to rhyme? You have two words that sound the same but are different, like cat and hat and door and four. What about mouse? Can you tell me what rhymes with mouse? House, very good. Well, this first book that I have for us today is called Hop on Pop, and it is written by Dr. Seuss. This book has all kinds of rhyming in it. Pup is up, pup and up rhyme. Pup in cup, cup on pup, cup and pup rhyme. Mouse on house, house on mouse. Which two words rhyme there? House, mouse, very good. We all are tall, we all are small. What words rhyme here? All, tall, and small. Here are some more all rhyming words. Are you ready? We all play ball up on a wall. All, ball, wall. Fall off the wall and fall. Ball rhymes on there too. That was a lot of all rhyming words. We play all day. We fight all night. Play, day, fight, night. He is after me and Jim is after him. So he and me rhyme and him and Jim rhyme. We see a bee, now we see three. So we see three bees. That's almost a tongue twister. Three fish in a tree. Fish in a tree, how can that be? They call me red. I am in bed. That's right, red and bed rhyme. Red, Ned, Ted, and Ed are all in bed. They call him Pat. Pat sat on a hat. Very good. Pat sat on a cat. That's right, and now Pat Sat on a bat. No, Pat, no! Don't sit on that! He would hurt himself. That's a cactus. Dad is sad. Very, very sad. He had a bad day. What a day Dad had. Do you guys know the four rhyming words in this one? We have sad, dad, bad, and had. What is this thing? That thing can sing. Thing and sing, a rhyme. A long, long song. Goodbye thing, your sing is too long. We like to walk. We like to talk. Walk, talk. We like to hop. We like to hop on top of pop. No, stop! You must not hop on pop. Mr. Brown, Mrs. Brown, Mr. Brown, upside down. Pup is up, Brown is down, Pup is down. Where is Brown? 
Where is Brown? There is Brown. Mr. Brown was flung out of town. Brown came back. Brown came back with Mr. Black. He jumped. He bumped. Jump, bump. He went past fast. Fast, past. Let's see if you can help me on this next one. He went into the tent. I sent him out of the tent. Went, sent, and tent. That's right. Two dogs get wet. They yelp for help. Will went uphill. Will is uphill still. Father, mother, sister, brother. That one is my other brother. My brothers read a little bit, little words like if and it. My father can read big words too, like Constantinople and Timbuktu. They say, what does this say? Mm, ask me tomorrow, but not today. The end. So how many of those rhyming words did you guys get on your first guess? That's wonderful. Well, I thought we could go ahead and sing bingo today, and then we'll get on to our next rhyming book. Are you guys ready? There was a farmer who had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, B-I-N-G-O. B-I-N-G-O, B-I-N-G-O, and bingo was his name Oh, Okay, so now we're going to take one letter away, and we're going to clap for that letter. Are you ready? There was a farmer who had a dog, and bingo was his name Oh, I-N-G-O, 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 and bingo was his name Oh, So now we're going to take away two letters, and we're going to clap twice. Are you ready? There was a farmer who had a dog, and bingo was his name. Oh, N-G-O, 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 and bingo was his name. Oh, how many letters do you think we'll take away this time? That's right, three. So that means three claps. Are you ready? There was a farmer who had a dog, and bingo was his name. Oh, G-O. Geo, Geo, and Bingo was his name. Oh, four claps this time. There was a farmer who had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh, five claps this time. Are we ready? There was a farmer who had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh. And bingo was his name. Oh, good job. You guys did so great. All right. So my next book that I have for us that rhymes is Frog on a Log. This book was written by Kes Gray and Jim Fields. Hey, frog, sit on a log, said the cat. But I don't want to sit on a log, said the frog. Logs are all hard and uncomfortable, and they can give you splinters. Ouch! You got a splinter? I don't care, said the cat. You're a frog, so you must sit on a log. Can I sit on a mat? asked the frog. Only cats sit on mats, said the cat. What about a chair, said the frog? I wouldn't mind sitting on a chair. Hares sit on chairs, said the cat. Hmm. Perhaps I could sit on a stool, said the frog. No, mules are for stools, said the cat. <gasps> what about a sofa? I could stretch right out on a sofa. Gophas sit on sofas, said the cat. It's very simple, really. 
Cats sit on mats. Hares sit on chairs. Mules sit on stools. Gophers sit on sofas. And frogs sit on logs. Well, what do lions sit on? Asked the frog. Lions sit on irons, said the cat. Ouch, said the frog. What do parrots sit on? Parrots sit on carrots, said the cat. Lions sit on irons and parrots sit on carrots. Well, that doesn't sound very comfortable, said the frog. It is not about being comfortable, said the cat. It's about doing the right thing. Well, what do foxes sit on, asked the, bo asked the frog. Foxes sit on boxes. Foxes sit on boxes and fleas sit on peas. Well, what do goats sit on, asked the frog. Well, goats sit on coats, said the cat. Goats sit on coats. Cows sit on plows. And storks sit on forks. Well, what do gorillas sit on, said the frog. Gorillas sit on pillows, said the cat. Gorillas sit on pillows. Rats sit on hats. Weasels sit on easels. And moles sit on poles. Hmm. Well, what do seals sit on, asked the frog. Don't you know anything, asked the cat. Well, seals sit on wheels. And doves sit on clubs, and newts sit on flutes, and lizards sit on wizards, and apes sit on grapes. What about puffins? asked the frog. Well, puffins sit on muffins, and snakes sit on cakes, and owls sit on towels, and gibbons sit on ribbons, and lambs sit on jams. And bees, well, they sit on keys. Well, I never knew that, said the frog. Well, now you do, said the cat. What do dogs sit on, asked the frog. I was hoping you weren't going to ask that, said the cat, because dogs sit on frogs. He's all squished, all because that frog didn't want to sit on a log. How goofy. I just love that book. So many animals rhyme with so many things that they can sit on, and it's just so silly. What was your favorite rhyme in that book? I love that puffins sit on muffins. Muffins are a tasty treat for breakfast. So now it's time for another song. Would you guys like to sing the alphabet song? All right. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? me. Good job. Let's go on and get to our next book and then I'll tell you about the activity we have in our grab and go bag today. This book is called Toad on the Road and this is a cautionary tale written by Stephen Shuskan. Shuskan. We've got frogs and toads and flies and it just seems like we've got foxes and boxes and gorillas. We've got all kinds of animals. Well, toad on the road, toad on the road. Oh no, oh no, wait, there's a toad on the road. Who's that coming down the road? Oh yikes, oh yikes. It's a bear on a bike. Everyone shout, look out, look out. Can you guys shout, look out, look out? Skid, screech, bam. 
Hey, little toad, get out of the way. You could get hurt. That's no place to play. That moose, skedaddle, without delay. What do you think your mama would say? The bear crashed. Oh, no. Toad on the road? Toad on the road? Oh, no, oh, no. There's a toad on the road. Who's that coming down the road? My stars, my stars. It's a croc in a car. Everyone shout, look out, look out. Skid, screech, bam. Hey, little toad, get out of the way. You could get hurt. That's no place to play. Bam, moose, skedaddle, without delay. What do you think? Your mother would say, oh no, toad on the road, toad on the road. Oh no, oh no, there's a toad on the road. Who's that coming down the road? Oh man, oh man, it's a vole in a van. Everyone shout, look out, look out. Skid, screech, bam. Hey, little toad, get out of the way. You could get hurt. That's no place to play. Vamoose, skedaddle, without delay. What do you think your mother say? He's still in the road. The toad on the road, toad on the road. Oh no, oh no, there's a toad on the road. Who's that coming down the road? Good luck, good luck. It's a toad in a truck. And what does she say? Hey, little love, get out of the way. You could get hurt. That's no place to play. Bamoose, ski daddle without delay. And that is what your mama would say. She saved her little babe frog. But that's right. The road is no place to play. So make sure you guys stay safe and Hold hands before you cross a road. I love all those books. Rhyme words are so much fun. So let's talk about our grab and go bags. This week in our grab and go bags, we have a shapes activity. We get to trace our shapes. Let's go over what shapes we have. We have a circle, square, triangle, rectangle, oval, diamond. Very good. You guys are so smart with your shapes. Well, this paper is going to help us learn and practice how to draw all of those shapes. And then I have a shape sorting activity. So we have a heart, star, circle, square, diamond, rectangle, triangle, crescent, oval, hexagon. We have all those shapes to sort out and I have a little baggie here with all different kinds of shapes on them. We have crescents and stars and we have diamonds and hearts and all of the shapes that you saw here. And what you'll do is you'll find where they go. So what do I have here? Yes, that's right, I have a heart. So I put it in the heart. And then I have a hexagon. So I put it back here in the hexagon. And then I keep sorting them until there's no more to sort. That's a great way to also work on your colors. They all have different colors. They're all different shapes. And it's just gonna be a super fun activity. And don't forget to eat your snack and tell me what shape it is whenever you do. All right. Well, until next week, guys. Bye.